Hey there, we're gonna show you some uh, tips and tricks today on how to improve your gunplay and general PvP in Rust. We uh, found some of these tips quite useful, so uh, we'll hope you do too. Enjoy the video. So yeah, the first tip. I don't really know if I can call it a tip, but uh, crafting the nail gun at the start of the game, the early game, where people is only running around with crossbows and bows can really benefit you. The close to medium range fights you're gonna win almost every time if the other guy is not having a nail gun. Just hit him once with the crossbow and you're gonna tap him easily down. And the draw time of this is just so short so it's easy to just pull out. Yeah. If you didn't craft a nail gun, start doing it. It's gonna win you a lot more fights. So yeah, yeah, the revolver is better, yeah. But you gotta start somewhere. But uh, when you get to the revolver, you just have to remember one thing. That with this gun, alongside with many others, you can actually spray with it. So at close ranges, please don't be afraid to just tap it away and try to control the recoil. Just keep in mind that you can spray with many other guns. Also the python here that seems to have such a big kickback that it's almost impossible to control. You can actually control it at close ranges. You just have to pull way down when you do it. Yeah, if you still got a hard time controlling it, then trust, try and crouch. It's gonna make the recoil and accuracy so much better. The same goes for the semi-automatic rifle. You can also spray along with that. You just get a little bit more distance to it. So you can spray at a little further distances. And uh, if you got a hard time with that, yeah, just crouch. It makes it easier. Yeah, and uh, another good thing to know is that you can shoot through several of the notes. You know, the metal notes and stone notes and the stuff you can farm. And uh, it's pretty inconsistent how many shots that's gonna hit, but uh, you can push most of people out of there. And uh, you can do the same thing with trees. Just keep in mind, when you shoot through this stuff, you only damage like one third of what you're normally gonna do. Another great thing to have with you is the external stone wall. And if you don't have that, you can also use the external wooden wall. It's uh, so great if you're getting caught out in the open like, and you can throw it uh, like anywhere if you're not too close to a red town or to another guy's building. If you don't uh, got the walls in handy then uh, you can just use the stone barricades. They work perfectly too and uh, you can place them pretty fast like, like in a circle around you so it's perfect for fighting too. So yeah, now for the big bad boy, the AK. Many people have uh, been wondering how you're gonna control this after the newest edition of it. After they changed the, the recoil pattern. And uh, I don't got any good answers, but I tried to put on a weapon laser sight and a muscle brake to uh, to try if that compensated a bit for the recoil. But uh, as you can see here, it's almost the same, or practically the same. So yeah, I think uh, the only help I'm gonna give here is that you have to practice a lot and just gonna have to practice this on either a wall or on a server where there's spots. I can uh, recommend a server to practice on, a server called Operation War Games. It's a lot of fun and here you can uh, one versus one your friends or do some NPC zombie survival stuff. But the thing we're after is the aim trainer here. And uh, in here we just go to the gun section, then you just get handed over some guns. And yeah. You are good to go, you just spray ahead and uh, practice for as long as you want. I think this is a good way of learning the pattern, just do it over and over and over again. Yeah, well uh, good luck out there guys, I hope you get some good PvP mo moments from now on. And uh, we'll see you next time.